guy's thinking like, what the hell? I just played Hearth and I just got obliterated. Welcome to Constructed, I mean Arena. Ooh, we can be a Scar deck. Surely this will be as good as the last one was. Stone Sentinel is only a 5 now. I'm kind of forcing Elementals right. I feel bad skipping Evil Totem because I've, I've actually straight up lost an Evil Totem in this meta. Like twice. I want this, but... Well, this is an epic too. Yeah, I don't know. This has felt really good too. Wackenal is too good, right? Unfortunately, I kind of want the Evil Totem. It seems like we're getting thrown Evil Totems. We'll take an Evil Totem when it's not up against something insane, right? Only thing is, if you're Wackanoing on Curve, then you're not continuing the Infinite Elemental Chain. But this also isn't continuing the Infinite Elemental Chain, obviously, except it's more easy to squeeze in. Usually later on, it also doesn't get as much value. I don't know. You can play it earlier, right? And then start the Elemental Chain. That's always an option, but... Ooh, Macaw. Macaw can be Scar. Revenant is good, but like, yeah, it's probably Macaw. Macaw's probably just too good, right? Because... It's not just this, but we can also copy like Stone Elemental, Stone Sentinel, and stuff like that. It's probably too good. Uh, unnerfed Granite Forgeborn. Don't mind if I do. Unnerfed Granite Forgeborn. Don't mind if I do. I mean, I would like Scorpid, but if we're forcing Elementals, I mean. <laughs> more of these <laughs> just make all of it free uh why does it have to be in sunspot i can't really play sunspot right because i have to keep scar active so it's like i can't even really play sunspot sunspot so like i i just i don't know i mean we're going in at this point right like it's just i think we're just going in we don't even want one mana elementals because then we're just wasting discount at that point right this card's just too good anyway this is this gotta be a lot worse now because of the the wild pool also. This is good for Macaw. Oh my god, dude. How many evil totems are, am I just not gonna be able to take? Evil totem's terrible? Is it now? Maybe. You want pop-up book with the uh the new spell, which we don't have, but it's probably still the pick. This card's just way too good, right? I'm probably taking Porter here. I kind of get two. <laughs> I feel like another Macaw is trolling at this point. Elemental. This is two Elementals. It lets you keep the chain active forever. More Elemental. Uh, Vile Fiend would be really nice, but Hex obviously is good. I feel bad skipping the Vile Fiend, but I mean, I guess we should be okay with Tempo with all these Forgeborns into all our Elementals, costing zero into casting Scar probably fine there's a lot of things you want to hex right now too grass over fire Ellie, i guess in case we miss all of our a million four drops we might need a four drop to activate this trusty companion to try to find our scar since we already have a hex if we didn't have a hex yet we'd probably have to take it Reflexes is probably not auto pick anymore. At this point, we pick anything that says elemental on it. I guess we can take a claw machine. It's going to be really hard to actually use that and keep the elemental chain ruling, is the one problem. But, I mean, I can't feral spirit on curve and keep it active either. We don't actually have early elementals, so there might actually be more relevance to this. I mean, I want draw, but like, I can't overload into my four, right? That's the problem, is that if I Feral Spirit, I can't play this on 4. So it just doesn't work. On coin, you could like coin... You could play this and then coin a 4. Or coin this on 2 and then still play this on 4. But going first, it just doesn't work. I think, I guess it's like, it's gotta be a claw machine to try to have sustain after. We're gonna like do all the elemental shit and then this will be like the sustain for afterwards, I guess. Could be healing. I haven't played with this card. It's one retire, maybe it's just better. Yeah, we should just try this, I guess. I think that card's a lot better than it looks to me. Feels like it should be bad, but maybe it's just not. Clacker? We have a good number of things for Clacker, right? 
they do like kind of similar things honestly it's like in the same situation you can hit a clanker you could also play this as at least a yeti probably right or even bigger but that's the big upside of this right is you can actually trade it where this is just going to be useless sometimes where this at least you can trade it but this is better with schooling i think like i just have to take this probably i just don't think i'm gonna have a good enough deck for this right now I kind of need this, but I also, I mean, skipping this is sacrilege at this point, right? This is a pretty good gift, huh? Like Those are all burn damage, desperate removal, end the game. It's a really good gift, but elemental, though. It's possible that one's wrong, but Storm is like auto-pick, right? Order Sleeper. I've never seen anyone play that card. I'm assuming it's bad. This is completely useless. I guess we're taking this. The Elephants will destroy you? True. Unironically, this might be better. This might. Maybe we try this. I mean, at least it's like a... But it's like, is playing this on two even... Like, anything? What do we need totems for, right, is the thing? The one justification would actually be to double your chance of hitting Lightning Storm, right? I don't know. I'll just try it. I guess... A card will soak four damage. That is true. It's a little late for this, right? We want something that we can actually do on turn three, right? That's the big thing. It kind of just fits the deck, yeah. Drawing Scar or just drawing like literally anything, basically. Oh my god, I should have believed chat. I should get like two more. Four Living Prairie, three Forgeborn. It's either amazing or terrible. That's pretty much how it works, you know. The um, variance of possible outcomes in this deck seem very large. I like this hand. Just avoid playing hunters. Well, honestly, I think we want to avoid the demon hunters. I'm really afraid of the demon hunters, actually. Hit one of our two drops, but he already countered our two drop. Yeah, I'm just gonna coin this, right? I guess I just go double two here. I will let the blue fish live. Let it watch its comrade die. And then we coin this into this, and then we follow up with like. I don't know, probably another one of these. Like, hitting the Forgeborn is so important for this deck, right? This won't buff the... The mini will still cost one, but... The Bluefish is more valuable? It really is. I mean, look at the Bluefish. Bluefish is badass. It's just cool looking. The green fish, though. Yes. I mean, the green fish is okay. It's better than the yellow fish. You, you really don't want the stinky yellow fish. You have the yellow fish. You need to kill off the yellow fish immediately. The red fish is pretty cool, too. You just, we can all agree that the yellow fish is the worst. Orange fish is okay, too. It's just, you really just don't want the yellow fish. Stinky yellow fish. Casual turn 4-4-11. Four, four, turn 4-11-11. Four, eleven, eleven. That's still weak compared to what Hunters do. Hunters play a turn 4-12-12. Twelve, twelve. It's actually just worse. I guess they don't, they don't have Rush on it, though. We have Rush on ours. So I guess that's... We do have that going for us. This guy's just going to rage quit so hard. Look at the symmetry, by the way, chat. You don't see colors when it comes to fish. Isn't this beautiful? I didn't know that card was in. Card's in? I still probably do this, right? Let me just check. We don't have a stinky yellow fish. I guess in this case, we'll just go for the variety. 
You never saw it until now? I never saw it either. It's straight up drafted too. It's probably just because no one's picking Rogue because you should not play Rogue right now. Oh my god, he's prepped too? What the fuck? Okay, I regret playing this now. Is it ever worth using another one here? So I'm actually cl cleanly killing that? Might be. Save it for the chain. That is true, unfortunately. Like, this is just so ugly, though. I don't know. It's weird. We don't have the scar, so it's like it might have been better just to use it and actually depressingly give up the chain. Oh, he got that. So we're actually just straight up losing. Can't get Storm off of this either. Oh, saved. So I guess since I can clean up with this stuff anyway, I guess I still just play this guy. So turn like this into a 5 drop if it lives. It's got buffed by the way. I guess I'll try this. Oh my god. There is some low rolls you can hit off of that now, as he's encountering, because he's hitting every low roll in the book, basically. He should go for an 11. Why'd he stop before 11? He should have... Like, 11s are actually good. I guess I'm ignoring this, huh? I could hit Bloodlust here. Yeah, you can get DK Rush. There are actually a lot of 11s. Maybe they're not that good. I don't know. Like, the DK Rush would be one of the best ones. There's, like, a giant. You could just hit an 8-8. I don't know what... I, I don't know all of them. That's pretty good. I guess I freeze. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want this crap, but okay. I mean, I'll take it, I guess. Keep the chain going. Yeah, I'll definitely play this. I lost a health chat. I was thinking about it earlier, I was like, I know he got something there. But I forgot which one he had already played. Uh, what was my last battle cry? It was this, right? I'm actually good. I have to trade you off too, right? This needs to go down for the chain. I could actually copy this. Is that ever good? I'm assuming it's not.
Please not again. He's just fishing for another lightning storm. I'm like almost dead to bloodlust there too, right? We rise to the of the sun. He probably should have done that first. Also, he didn't forge it. Like honestly, I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't have tried for a random shaman spell. He already got the lightning storm once, so he thought he was gonna get it again, I guess. I mean, we've we've talked a lot about seeding and stuff, and like, I mean, it's like it's just one of those things where it's like, it, it, yeah, it's like it seems like it may or not may not be totally random, but who knows? That's a whole discussion. Yeah, it's like anyone that has anyone with any background in computer science knows that true random doesn't really exist in computers. You can get things that are close, but I also don't think they invested a whole lot of money into making something that approximates true random accurately in Hearthstone. <laughs> you know. They probably just like, okay, well, yeah, okay, we have something that seems to work. Okay, it's good enough. Is three remote controls too much? Do you have good synergy for it? Do you have other weapons? They love a little it could be, but it depends on if how good it is in your deck and if you have other synergy and stuff. You don't think it's a good use of resources? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, I would agree, actually, because the thing is, it's like all the RNG algorithm in this game got coded. It probably got coded like 12, 13 years ago, you know, it wasn't even like early Hearthstone. It was like they coded it fucking ages ago, you know, it would have been one of the first things they did. They didn't have a, a game that was making any money or anything. It would have been kind of crazy for them to invest a whole fuck ton into it back then. It wouldn't make any sense, actually. It's a little weird, but it's like... I guess I want to play this later on anyway. Maybe I just give him this anyway. The nice thing about doing this now is that... You know, I have this awkward situation. But actually, I can't prairie then. I guess I just have to do this, right? I need to start playing elementals, so. Do I have a background in computer science? I have a background in engineering, and I did take a few computer science classes. I took some stuff where they talk. I took a little bit of formal classes on that stuff, but like. I also just talked to actual computer science majors when I was in school, and they, they explained that to me. That was more what I know about that, is, that, is what they told me about that stuff. Because they explained to me how it's like there's no real random. And I was like, that makes no fucking sense. And they're like, yeah, but we are the computer science people and we know better than you. And I'm like, okay, fair enough. I could just hex this. The fact that it hasn't triggered yet means it might be... Could actually be Ice Trap, which would suck. i probably try. I mean, if it is Ice Trap, I need to get through it, too. I think i try to hex. Which I don't even know if Ice Trap's in. But, okay. It was nothing. What's even left? I don't even know. Was this... This was drafted, right? It's, it's got to be something that triggers off a face at this point, right? Hidden meaning. Did I not trigger that last turn? Let's find out. Rat trap is also in, is it? Let me look. Now, the only traps... I don't see Ice Trap or Rat Trap. They'd have to be discovered, otherwise they don't have access to it, I think. 
according to Firestone. So it's just gotta be something that triggers off a phase. To me, it's just explosive. I mean, feel pretty comfortable. This is a game he didn't have any good early games, so it's like I kept the storm just to try to do that. Uh, he kept like star power, that's why he didn't have an early game. Okay, it all makes sense. I don't really want to play this right now, so I guess I'll play this to keep the chain active. I mean, playing this guy sucks too, but. I, I I assumed that was the mini because <laughs> it was one mana. That one wasn't actually the mini. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, this thing's bigger than I thought it was. Oh, that's convenient. But I need this guy to play early game so I can actually like value trade with this. You want to just take like 16 damage and die? That's an option too. Maybe we get healing here. Like this is good too, but yeah. I just freeze and ignore it, huh? This is nice. I was supposed to avoid hunters. Well, that was what chat said, but I was saying it's like we actually probably want to avoid demon hunters. Shaman actually, sh in theory, should be a really good. Oh my god. Really good matchup. That's a good card. How dumb is it to smork him with this? Pretty dumb. Do I do it anyway? Probably not. This doesn't actually kill this if I value trade with this. I've literally been banished two games in a row, yeah. Brass this. I think I just play this just to like throw it on board. I guess I... T actually, I probably tempo this, don't I? I just throw this on board just to have it be a, an option. There's a small chance you actually die here. It's actually possible. But not if that happens. Um... Beautiful. So do I just kill this? I could just, um... I play this either way, right, at this point? It's probably not worth killing it, right? Because if anything, it's just going to make our AoE better. This is kind of useless, but... This thing, and then... But the chain. We're just going to draw a scar next turn. Don't worry. Dude, I have all that shit shuffled into my deck. It's kind of a problem, actually. Pona is indeed fishing. Can you just, like, one time not get the perfect RNG? Like, just one time, please. Just literally one time. I would appreciate. Stone. 
All right, surely we can't die. At this point, we don't actually need the chain because Scar uh, will just kill him anyway, but he's still fishing, so. Oh my god, he has an immune anexia again. Oh no. Imagine if he gives the immune minion taunt chat. Uh. In case you're wondering, you can't actually immune a taunt. I mean, you can, but immune cannot actually taunt. It's like stealth can't taunt. It's the same thing. So. Were we dead? We were dead to collateral if it hit all the taunts. Oh, that would have been a disaster. Yeah, literally anything that says whelp is supposed to work with Anixia. Sometimes it's bugged. Sometimes, like, if there's a new card, it may or may not work when it's supposed to. But generally, yeah, anything that says whelp is supposed to work. Okay, we hit the Giga Nuts. That's all that matters, right? I'd probably keep this, I guess. Not Welp Bonker. That was one of the bugs. Yeah, yeah. Welp Bonker shouldn't work because it's not actually a Welp, but it did work for a while. That was actually one of the bugs. <laughs> Leoc Unleash. I don't think Unleash is in, though. I'm not sure if that's even discoverable, either. Probably do this, right? You've seen it played. Okay, so it probably has to be discovered. I don't think it's draftable. Yield totem. Thing's totally just gonna die to Huffer, but... Does he coin Leoc too? Misha, he does, yeah. It's kind of a problem, actually. Can I do both of these together? I can, right? It's... Oh no, I can't. It's gonna be three and three. Dude, the way I get completely, perfectly fucked by this, it's kind of bad for me. So wait, my last one is Forge One, so I could go three and three here. I'm not 100% convinced this is even going to work is the issue. Right? Like, it might be the other thing. But I guess I want to save Macaw for this anyway. Bump with the weapon. I guess that, that should handle most outcomes pretty well, right? It's probably what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, if we lose the 2 out of 3, we probably just lose the game. Oh, that's a disaster. At least it worked, though. Yeah, I was expecting bait and switch, but I guess it wasn't. I forgot the name of it. Give me one second. Really? Okay. So now I do this. This is like literally constructed, by the way. Okay, fine. We'll see. If I don't get... I am like reducing the chain this way, but... We'll see, depending on whether or not, we're probably just going to do this. If we get another elemental, if we top deck an elemental, I could have waited on one chain. This is probably just worth using anyway. We'll see what I draw, though. Yeah, nothing. But now I can just double Macaw that thing. <laughs> this works. And you can Macaw the Macaw, right? That works, right? I think I've seen someone do something like that before. You can Macaw the Macaw. Yeah, I need to draw an elemental that's not a battle cry, basically. If I draw a slogger or something. Do I bother to... Like, do I hex this just to deal a million damage to him? Kind of have to, right? I 
And then it would be better to wait if I could. But I can't really, so. I probably just do this, huh? Because this is gonna. The chain's over, so. Wasn't it just lethal? Uh oh. Double Macaw. Uh oh. Uh oh. Probably. I was not even checking. I was not thinking about lethal at all. It probably was. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, it was dealing five and that was another five. So, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I just... Uh, yeah, it's like... That was better than hexing was just to Macaw twice. That was... That just made a lot more sense, but um, we he saw nothing shot. This is extended BM. He deserved it because he's a hunter, right? It was still way better than hexing. It was also just way better than hexing. That was also true, yeah. Ooh, torrent. Should we give lethal to Panda? Panda. We could also give it to Macaw. But, you know. This one probably happens less often. Like, this doesn't exactly work with this. I'm wondering if I toss this. Maybe I just keep every elemental because I'm going to have it be so cheap, right? It's probably... You know, I mean, this will work eventually, right? The Macaw might be wrong because you could just hit another elemental maybe, but... So the thing is, I'm not sure if I can do it, right? I probably don't just rip this immediately. It would give me like a whack and all hit, though. Maybe I do it now. Probably still no. I don't need to, right? Probably have a spare man at some point. The culprit was not tight. Seriously. So then we start the chain. We are going to be able to do this now. Because I can do this into both of these suddenly. How oh, is this one man spell even remotely balanced? Uh, yeah, they abandoned balance in this game a year ago, roughly. So yeah, they just don't, they just print whatever they want now. They they don't actually balance anymore. <laughs> if it doesn't literally break constructed, they're just they just print things. So yeah, it's like it's not even remotely close to balance. This complete this thing is just completely batshit broken, but it's just yeah, it's just It's not going to literally cause constructed any construct any individual constructed deck to go to outlier win rate, so they don't care. Probably. Actually, it might, though, because the new deck might actually do it, but we'll see. But yeah, like, if you want a Macaw, it might be better to Macaw to Living Prairie. The problem is, is that they actually have Cycle Hatred. So I don't know that summoning a million three threes is actually what I want to do. <laughs> That's the one issue. Because I could, but... I don't know. I'll do this and then we'll see. We'll, we'll try from here. I'm kind of split because yeah, the discount. I mean, the discount lets you hand vomit everything next turn. It's not really useless, but I can pretty much play everything next turn anyway. So I 
Oh, this is gonna kill my chain. I go three and three. I don't feel like I have much of a choice though. It's there for second prayer. Well, if we're saving it, we don't have. I mean, we do have three prairies in the deck, I guess. If you were going to save it, you'd want to keep the chain alive, save it for Scar, but I don't know. Ideally. Okay, well, he doesn't. He definitely doesn't have Cycle if he's playing this way, so. Well, we had this card, it was just like, it was a little weird to ever get this out. I would have had to like get it out and take six to kill a wolf, but it's like, I just don't want to take that damage there. So it's a little awkward. Just, I probably don't need to restart the chain immediately. Oh. It's probably bad, right? Should we keep the blue fish in hand or should we play that one? Um, I don't want the green fish. In my I'm probably trading off the green fish, right? I think I like the blue, the blue fish in my hand. Think about the important things, chat. She's just gonna hit another wolf. Wolf probably doesn't even save him really right now. That definitely doesn't. If he has Halveria, actually, <laughs> it would be pretty good. No, oh, my fish. For pink fish. There's no pink fish. This is not pink. Actually, this is kind of pink, I guess. Hmm. Now we can restart the chain. Is there any reason not to vomit everything on board? I got some 12 0. I haven't really played. I think the 12 0 is the last day I played. This is our second round today. We did not have a 12 0 earlier. Did not have a 12 earlier, but. Maybe we'll get one with this. Probably not. How many games is going to happen where it's just like, if we can just draw a Scar? Guess we didn't need Scar this time. Am I liking the current meta? I mean, it definitely seems interesting to play for what it's worth. There are probably a few too many blowout things that can happen, but you know, this is how it is. Order sleeper carry us. It's probably good. This is the first time we've drawn it. I think they'll handle it. Also, I mean, the game's also in like one of the most horrific balance states we've ever had the game in, but, you know, that stuff is all fixable. I haven't played this card in a long time. No. I kind of need to be able to play this next turn, right? So I can't really do those. I mean, I could. I would go this into this into... And it's just weird and off curve. I don't know. We probably just do this. I 
It's just so weird. We'd be delaying it by so much. Is it normal for the Discover pool to include literally every card? Uh, depends on your definition of normal. If your definition of normal is this is the world we're living in now and there's nothing we can do about it, uh, then yeah, it's normal. Normality is acceptance of suffering. Very Buddhist. Very true, yes. How are you doing, by the way, language hacker? We're still hanging out. Obviously, I read your comments earlier. To not point out, it's from a language hacker. Language hacker, great. Great Hearthstone player. Who streams sometimes. You should check him out. Streams less. I believe he has a job now. So... That job thing. How do I do this? So I could do both of these actually. Should be pretty. I mean, that's what we do. If we're really good at the game, is this gonna pop? By the way, no, probably not. Um, we probably do both. Boom! Disaster. Trade this off, I guess, then, huh? Kind of sucks, that seems reasonable. Turn five, just wait until this actually, um... This comes soon, right? Probably comes next turn. This would be a lot better if it at least had a rush or something, right? Imagine for just like one mana more, you could actually have just imprisoned uh, Vile Fiend, right? That kind of gives perspective how bad this is, right? You could have had an imprisoned Vile Fiend for just one more mana. It would come like three turns earlier almost always. So whether or not I trade first, it's the same. Would I ever take the one extra damage to keep the three one there? Do I have the ability to? One extra damage wear on my face. Oh, great. I like how literally it comes and then immediately just gets erased. Maybe I get spell damage off of this? Poggers. Well, the thing is, is, I was hoping the buff would go onto the Wind Fury, or at least like literally anything except where it went, but it's like there was buff RNG, so it wasn't. Like, if I knew where the buff was gonna go, yes, but I didn't know where the buff was gonna go. So all my shit's coming, right? Next turn. Stinky yellowfish. Ah, uh, don't worry. Stinky yellowfish gets to die here, so... Do I play this, or do I... It'd be a while before I get the same way. I guess I play it, right? We're gonna have a giant board here. We're almost threatening lethal now. Holy shit. I feel like the stats spread wider might be better. Right. 
He can't actually have an Alexstrasza, right? He already... It's probably not even... I bet is not even in the pool, but... He also played his Legendary. He didn't discover a dragon yet. If I didn't have this card in my deck, I would have zero bad draws. And the schoolings are pretty bad, too, at this point. Am I gonna die to that? I'm actually going to die to that, aren't I? I need Macaw now. Ah, okay. I have to, like, trade everything off so I can actually do this. Unfortunately, I need to trade another slot off, so I have to like trade like this too. Unless I'm okay just having one taunt. Right. I think it actually makes more sense to do it this way though. Barely setting up lethal this way. A good explorer comes prepared. Oh, this thing. The smallest one? Oh. That's kind of rude. At least it doesn't scale with buffs. <laughs> that's the bright thing to look forward to, right? I'm surprised he wasn't able to get that Bronze Explorer down earlier, but I guess he was just under so much pressure he couldn't. Because if he had played that at any point, he probably would have just won automatically. Do I actually keep, keep two schoolings? I won't have hand space is the problem, right? And I need to find elementals. There's no way we don't keep Scar, right? That's what we want. Order Sleeper carry us. Now if he hear powers, he actually uh, helps us a little bit. No yellow fish to get rid of, but orange fish I guess we'll have to get rid of. This ramps this thing actually so fast. Is this card the best card ever suddenly? Orange is like, yeah, orange is like honorary yellow. It's better than yellow, but it's, um, you know, not saying much, basically. It's going to be really sad if we lose the chain. Is it actually better to... It probably doesn't matter, right? But like, it's probably technically better because you take away more decisions, I guess, this way. It probably doesn't really matter. Remember when you had a board? Got him.
Sleeper woke up and died. The sleeper has not been ideal at any point. But we shouldn't, I mean, technically any Death Knight could have all Frost burn spells and kill us, but... I mean, you would think we'd be out of range at this point. Okay, we, sh we should be fine now, for sure. Because he's trading. Oh dear. Chain is growing. Yeah, we may have to dump it here, though. Oh, never mind. New plan. Continue the chain. Go bluefish, kill that nasty ghoul. Crystal Broker plundered your orifices. Playing a three mana Cola Garden. That's pretty nasty. Oh, we just lost. Nice. I can do these to continue the chain. I, I don't know because I don't know what form of hearth it is what I'm supposed to do here really. This could generate a living prairie or could draw a living prairie. I guess I can do that with schooling. I guess I'll do that, huh? Or that. Yeah, it's like, I probably need to scar whatever the hell is going to happen to me, right? Whatever disaster is about to happen. More redfish. I have to hope he doesn't get blood death in my hand again like last time. Uh oh Paladin. That seems rather beatable, actually. So he has Leaper with Justice. Ugh. Tells you his cards. Once you know, once it's revealed, it then you're supposed to know them. I guess we have to wait on this. I still do... I do this, right? Oh wait, this is a 6-6. Six, six. It's probably better. He knows what cards are in hand. If you Google how how that card works, you'll understand. Cause, yeah, the cards are the same every time. So once it, it's revealed which hand they have, you know the whole hand if you know what the hands are. Doesn't have life steal. I probably... If I double scar... Is this lethal? Because this is 18. It's like easy lethal. Yeah, it's like super easy lethal. Well, I guess I have to hit this first. Actually, I don't have to hit it first because I'm doing it twice. guys thinking like what the hell I just played hearth and I just got obliterated 
Welcome to Constructed, I mean Arena. Automod thought that the word piranha was misogyny. For some reason. The hell? Okay. I, 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 I don't even. Can someone explain to me? Should I just turn off Automod? Society made a mistake when it gave piranhas the right to vote. Actually true, yes. Ew, two stinky yellowfish. Do I play this or do I... This will be fine, right? Misogynist yellowfish? Actually true, yeah. I appear to be dying. I can go Panda plus Prairie next turn. Fish plus Prairie? I guess it's Fish plus Prairie now. I bet the turn 4 win rate for Painbrush is like 75%. Let me check, actually. It must be disgusting, yeah. 69%. Nice. Double Fish Storm. That actually does work pretty perfectly, doesn't it? We lose the chain, though, but I guess that'll be okay. Oh, this one's cheaper. Double fish prairie now. So now we just have to deal with the fact that this entire hand is plus three, plus three. How I'm supposed to deal with that? I don't know. I mean, I have that information. Here's the funny thing about it. It's like, we have information. Now, does that information actually help us in any way? That it might not, but maybe, though. Dinba first. Yep, rock. It's a pretty relevant buff now. I'm not playing the super buff means. Maybe he doesn't have a lot of super buffed minions. I'm not sure. Is that thing showing the tracker? I wasn't looking at that. Because I'm not exactly sure. There's only one mana, and it's like I might want to get something else. And if I get a heal totem, it's good. Taunt totem is good. Even spell totem is really good. I think I actually look for this. Spell totem, yes. Devolving missiles would be one really good thing. The problem is I can't do this and also continue the elemental chain, but maybe I don't. That might not be the most important thing right now. Because this could also... This could give Don't Stand the Fire. Let me try this first. I'm probably just ditching the elemental chain. Um... 
not really what I needed. I mean, it's like if I just swing. That's pretty good. Am I like bump bump of all for it? Probably bump bump of all. You got nothing with Rush. It's probably more likely you get nothing with Rush now. <coughs> probably a lot lower percentage of Rush minions in the pool now. Is it possible no TK with Scar? It definitely is. I mean, I've done a... I think in... Well, even in last minute, I did a 15 damage Scar. Now they have Macaw. Like, yeah, definitely. We could get our Scar, our scar down to like 4 mana and then double Macaw. Actually, I don't know if we can quite in this deck. We're close, though. It's kind of insane to have both... To have that gift, so you can just take whichever combo piece you don't have. Kind of insane, actually. You might pick this to start the chain. Guess we're just playing this. Can I stop facing the same cards every game, please? Wild meta, same cards every game. Pretty much, yeah. Welcome to this meta where it's wild, but also you face the same cards every game. Do well, I want to buff this guy? Probably trade. I'm probably supposed to get this dude down. Does Firestone tell me what's inside of this? No. I just had like three minions in here, right? I lost the spell discount. No, I couldn't really use it, so... Found the hex. Minions are coming back. Yeah. I guess I can do like this and this. I keep the chain active. You can also trade like this. I know this. It seems fine like this. Yeah, it's only three minions coming back. As long as we do it like this way, it's fine. So I might as well just... Seems fine. I guess the totem was coming back last. I could have just not gotten the totem back, right? Would have also been fine, but it's probably fine anyway. Not great. I wonder if it's better to just go face there. I could have attacked with one attack of wind fear first. Yeah, that was probably better.
some shows. So this was the last one I played. I guess I'd rather get another one of those. Would I? Two, three taunts versus Revenant. It's gotta be two, three taunts actually, right? You should that this thing actually tells you what the last battle cry was. Our next draw is huge. If we draw like Sleeper, it's really bad. <laughs> like Scar probably wins us the game, but if we draw something dead, it probably loses us the game. Huh? We take Traveling Merchant too. Um, I don't think that works. I, I don't think that's good enough. Yeah, the problem is, I probably have to ignore this, right? What is this? This draws a dragon. It's really bad. I don't want to kill this either. So I just like kill this and then I just hope for the best, I guess. If I want, I could kill this. I'm still... I haven't figured out if we're the control of the aggro, to be honest. It's like, if we're the control, I'm supposed to do this. If I'm the aggro, I'm not supposed to. I haven't... I'm not even sure at this point. Like, I'm actually going to die, too. That's the issue. Yeah, we basically just need Scar now. 1 in 12. Dead? Yeah, we have no agency, right? We're not dead if we get Taunt Totem there, but there's a 1 in 3. Okay, I was going to say maybe he doesn't see it, but now it's kind of hard to not see it. Nice. Yeah. Well, we drew our deck in like the worst possible order, so... There was nothing we could have done in the last 10 turns. If we made any misplay, it was like turn 3. The last, the last literally 11 turns just played themselves, so... Just want to coin this. I don't think we just rip this. I mean, this is our nut draw, right? Like we, this game should already be over. Would have been a pretty good whack and all too. Wait. Could just use that here, but getting the 4 or 5 to value trade is also good. It's kind of funny that this is basically just a worse version of this, right? Have I tried the new pizza chicken at KFC? Uh, nope. I was not aware of such a thing. New plan?
What's up, Pascal? How are you doing? Again? He's not even buffing that much. That's a 5-4 into a 4-1. That is pain. We'll whack a null plus whichever elemental we want to do next turn. Oh wait, I, I only have five mana. Oh. For duty. Hmm. Macaque? Well, now I can do both of these. Is it right? I don't know. Am I going to do it? I guess. It kind of makes sense right now. Is it hilarious? Yes. Does it allow our opponent to get murdered by cows? Yes. Why am I swinging this? Here? Yeah, it's like uh it's like uh not much. Well yeah, cheese pepperoni. It looks like it's cheese pepperoni and uh it also has the uh the tomato sauce on top. That actually sounds really good, because to be honest, my least favorite part of pizza is the bread. Is the dough, the bread, whatever. That's actually my least favorite part of pizza. So they just remove that and replace it with fried chicken. That actually sounds amazing. It's like not even any less healthy either. That's the funny thing. Because you know the dough's also not good for you. <laughs> It's actually not even less healthy. But it's like actually just better. Like pizza does no better than fried chicken. It's gotta be lethal, right? Fried chicken healthier than dough? Well, it's like, I mean, the the actual fried, well, literally fried chicken is fried dough surrounding chicken. Dough is like cook dough that is, pizza is made from dough that's not fried, which makes it better. But also the chicken is better than the dough. So it's like, I don't know, they probably about even out, I would say. They're probably about the same. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's not actually worse than pizza. And I would think it would also taste better than pizza. So it's like, it's actually just a superior product, at least in my opinion. So it's actually genius. Ronald Reagan says pizza is a vegetable. Dude, literally I did a nutrition thing in like elementary school. And that was the ultimate hack was that if you, they actually also, you were, you were getting literal like class credit for eating vegetables and they counted pizza as vegetables. So it was like, if I eat anything else, I would like fail. I would literally get like a failing grade. But then if I ate pizza, I got like an A plus. And it was just like the pizza, the, the teacher literally realized how stupid it was too. And I'm just like, oh wait, okay. Oh uh, yeah, we just had pizza. Because they counted it as everything. It was like you ate like three slices of pizza and it was like your day's worth of like vegetables and fruit. And I think they count as vegetable and fruit even maybe. But it was like, yeah, you got meat and bread and vegetable. It was, it was like perfect. Otherwise, you had to actually have, like, a good diet, you know? Fried 
fruit. Was it a pineapple pizza? It probably, maybe I actually got a, well, it's like, you know, tomato is like, people debate about whether tomato is even a fruit or vegetable. It's technically a fruit, right? And it's like, you get like, because if it's, I think that was it, is like, if you had a deluxe pizza, it's like the, the tomato technically counts as a fruit. Then you, ha you have like green peppers or whatever on it. And that's the vegetable. So literally pizza has everything. Like a supreme pizza has everything. You had to get like a supreme pizza to get the full credit. Because if you just got pepperoni or whatever, it wasn't everything. Because you didn't have the vegetable. Go stinky yellowfish. I mean, the thing that's funny about that, though, is like, I mean, if you just get like a regular pizza and it's like, okay, it's nice that they have like a third of an olive on it, right? But it's like just having a third of an olive, it shouldn't count as like a serving of vegetables or fruit or whatever the fuck an olive is. What even is an olive anyway? I don't even know. But they would count that as a serving, even though they really shouldn't. Maybe it was actually better to play this because I was going to play this. I would have been able to play this right into that guy. But I wanted to overload now. Peppers also fruit. Like just generally peppers are. Are they? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't. I literally don't know what a pepper looks like. Like what plant it grows on. I have no idea. It's probably not underground, right? Because vegetables are generally underground. That's the whole thing, right? Fruit is generally above ground. Isn't that the big difference? And tomatoes are above ground. They're on vines, right? So that makes them a fruit. It's a fruit just like a grape is a fruit, right? That's why a tomato is a fruit. Because it's, it's literally like, it's a vine just like a grape is. Right? Like a carrot is a vegetable because it's underground. Oh yeah, and then some of the things are fruits, technically. Or seeds, not... Uh, yeah, that's its own category, technically, yeah. I don't know. I don't understand all of that. It's kind of weird as I have this. Oh, I have spell damage. Oh, spell damage is huge here. I guess I gotta do this, right? Like, I can do this to keep the chain alive. But at this point, the storm is just so good, it's better than the chain. I don't need to kill this, right? I'm probably going to restart the chain with those. Pretty sure beans grow above. Well, beans are technically a different category, right? They're legumes, right? Or are they considered like vegetables or something? I thought they're legumes. Like peas are legumes too. They're actually a different category, technically. That's where it's like, I mean, I heard about that and it's like, at this point, I'm like, I don't even know because that's not even either category, right? People argue about like fruit or vegetable when it's literally neither, apparently. And it's like, okay, at this point, I'm just like, okay, I don't know. <laughs> I guess schooling deals with that. It deals with like everything. I'll have to wait on the chain. Because what really, I mean, ultimately, it's like if you actually care about the nutritional value, like, you know, different fruits and vegetables have different nutritional value individually anyway. So it's just like, why is it fruit or vegetable? It doesn't even matter. It matters what that individual, because not all fruits and vegetables are equal either, so... Legumes are the seeds and are eaten in their immature form. 
Or the mature form. I think I have one damage here. It'd be the most hilariously the lever if I just let played this. <laughs> and just let this kill him, but it might not work. We'll have to go for Scar Lethal. Scar Lethal's okay too. It's our first actual Scar Lethal though, right? Maybe not. We'll just pretend like it was. Oh yeah, like, so that's the definition, like a definition of fruit is like, isn't a fruit basically just anything that has seeds in it? That's basically what a fruit is, right? Isn't that the actual definition? And then a vegetable is just basically anything else. Bananas have seeds and are considered berries, and berries are, I mean, I think they're considered fruit, right? Except for beans though. But yeah, the bean, no, the thing is, is the bean is the actual seed, right? A fruit is something that has a seed in it, where a bean is, is just a seed, basically. Right? I don't know. I'm going to keep all the elementals and believe. The top of a banana they peel from is a seed. And this, this is where it gets like way too complicated. I'm like, I don't know. Am I dying? I might be dying. Um, I'm definitely dying. It's pretty helpful, except... um. And yeah, these are all going to be buffed is the issue. So probably give that. Probably just do this. Greetings, traveler. I think it's this. I'm going to have to Brass Elemental two of these, and I'm going to Living Prairie another one. I guess. Assuming he plays those. This one party snacks. Don't even have time for this. I think I just killed the two five and three three. I, don't know, I could protect it, but yeah. It's like you have to trade like this. Kind of sucks. You meet me at the supermarket and get me a hyrograph? Uh, probably. So we survived at the, um... The massive wave of bullshit, most of it at this point. Here, the time might actually be better. We're never gonna have time for this. And squad some no I didn't.
Explosive shot. Imagine. Okay. Uh, what do you do? Stone Sentinel. We have to let the chain go, I guess. How's this a four mana card? Remember this thing I mentioned like 45 minutes ago or so about how, they, yeah, they just print cards now. They don't actually, like, you know. If a card is balanced, it's pretty much by accident at this point. They just kind of print things and then they're just like, mm, let's just, <laughs> let's just see if it breaks anything. I'm losing the chain, I guess. So I guess I'm just going to play double one. Especially with, um, well, it's funny because even in standard, you know, next week they're not going to have wild seeds in the game anymore. So it's like that card is actually better in arena than it is in standard. Arena has like literally the perfect meta to make it seem absolutely as broken as possible, that card. Because it's so ridiculously easy to just make it a four mana 12 12, right? They're getting rid of wild seeds in, they're rotating out of standard, I believe, right? That's why they unnerfed them. But, no, they're probably still going to be in Arena. I mean, they'll probably nerf the rate of them in Arena. We've complained to Blizzard endlessly already about the Wild Suits. So, um, they'll probably nerf them, but, like... They'll at least nerf the Offering rate. I don't know if they'll ban them out, right, though. They should probably just all be banned, honestly. It would probably just be better if they were just all banned. Straight up. I don't know why they got put in in the first place, you know, it just seems like a questionable decision. <laughs> Rip barcode. Next! All these aren't the greatest mechanic either. They're, I kind of respect what they do in standard, but in arena, like, they're just... They just shouldn't exist. They, they really just shouldn't exist in arena. There's just no reason they should exist. Like, in Standard, they're interesting because they're a form of aggro that doesn't just straight up kill you based off of straight up board vomiting immediately. Like, it's at least delayed ward value, right? Like, they at least have... Some, you can at least understand that they provide some value. But it's like, yeah, I don't know. You're stretching to even give them that much respect, but... In Arena, it's really just not that thing, because you don't give a fuck if it's delayed, right? If it gives out more stats, you'll take a two-turn delay. If it gives out twice as many stats, you're supposed to, right? The whole, like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's like the whole dormant mechanic. I don't know, I respect some of the dormant cards, but yeah. The whole thing isn't exactly the greatest for Arena or anything. I guess we'll go for this. Okay, and this is going to be my turn 5. How is it even possible? We're going to go like 3, 4. No, sorry. Well, like, I mean, we'll see. 3, and then one of these, and then we'll play whichever cow we can afford. Wow. Won't kill all of it this way, but then I, I can still play... Uh, I guess I'm doing this now. Okay, I might do this now. Yeah, I should probably do this. It's gonna end up trading with this probably, that seems fine. So I'll check this first. If it doesn't end up trading, we'll get to value trade it, so. That would actually be potentially good. Although we'd have uh, 19 health then. Be less than good, but. Tempo line dance for him. Yeah.
Seems a little annoying, but I guess we just clear it with this. There's a lot of value for that thing this way. I don't think you just ignore it. I mean, I could have just played this. That would have been an option to... Night Captain? <laughs> Night Captain? Just go again. Have I dropped any Colossals yet? I had the uh, Demon Hunter one. It just happened to be one of the best ones. I should totem first, because if I get... The only thing that could eat this would be the 1-1, one -one, and I would obviously rather have the 1-1 one -one die, so I should do that, just in case. Yeah, I thought this card would get the buffs if you actually buffed it, but no, it doesn't. Ball hog another card. Yeah, this card's gonna be... This card would get played like crazy and constructed too, right? Because it's like a bunch of healing and also goes phase potentially. It'd be in like every deck, right? It's just another just blatantly overtuned card. They just make cards overtuned when they want to, no. That's interesting. Taking five for fun? Hey, I can respect that. Taking five is pretty fun. Never hit a 50-50. Uh, it might be cycle, actually. We'll find out if it's cycle. It, it could be because of cycle, maybe. Vase will find out, but that's fine. Then we'll just storm and then sentinel, and then he'll cycle again, and then we'll cry. Sounds like a plan. Okay, it's not cycle. Yeah, I have no idea then. <laughs> it could have been another ball hog, maybe. But then we played these annoying three ones that prevented him that from working. He definitely feels like he's in a worse situation because he just has five less health randomly. Okay, he, I, he, he's starting to seem more and more just confused. That's the word I'll use. Just do it like this, push all the damage, and you can't even currently you can't even trade out the frog. It's a little risky, I guess, but we don't have to worry about cycle this way. Actually, cycle, I mean cycle would still be really good, but it would also pop this. So <laughs> I have things you never knew you want. Here comes the cycle! Uh, he's literally dead on board with Cycle now, so. What did happen this game? I guess he just didn't draw any of his early He had a one drop, right? But he just didn't draw any early game. He only had that three mana 3-2. Three, Another ball hog. He appears to be dead shot. I was gonna like storm, but then I realized this would probably like cost me lethal, so then I'm like, I'm just gonna not. <laughs> I'm just gonna, gonna not bother. <laughs> I 
haven't seen this Illidan before. Uh, where's my... Where are my elementals, chat? When do I get cards that do something? Hmm. Fellow men. No, that's not right. Unironically not the worst draw in my deck. It's pretty low on the list to be honest, but it's not the worst draw. That's what I could technically do. I could try to buff. Do I even have beasts? There's a world you just hex that. Because to be honest, I don't. It's so hard to deal with that I might just hex it. It's just too hard to deal with. Thought about getting TTS for the stream. I could do that, yeah, I don't know. Well, I'd have to like... The thing is, I'd have to figure out how to, like... I don't actually have it where... What I'd have to do is make it where it doesn't actually show up in the YouTube VOD and stuff. Which is, like, a thing you can do, but I haven't figured out how to... I actually don't know how to do that. That's something I would need to set up, but... That is something I could set up. Because I absolutely don't want, I don't want like my YouTube videos have TTS in them, that's for sure. <laughs> and then the one problem is, is like I do prioritize my YouTube a lot and it's like, even if it's muted, it's still awkward for that. So it's like, I don't know. For that reason, I don't know if I would actually want to. I want to do these two together. But like this turn I could do this. Which I guess I do. Do I want to swing like here? First. I probably actually want to buff like here. This is true, this doesn't do anything yet. Actually made this thing seem semi reasonable for once. But no, I mean, I'll, I'll consider that because it's like, honestly, like for. From a sheer business perspective, like profitability, that would probably bring revenue to the stream, which might make it worth doing, <laughs> you know. At some point I need to, I've avoided trying to focus so much on that, but it's like, yeah, maybe that would be a thing.
My living prairie. Good thing he didn't steal my scar. I could go four and three technically. This would be what, like a six six? But if I do this, I can do it next turn. The David Attenborough TTS. As an American, I don't really understand it, but I do appreciate it, yeah. You have Trump and Obama. Oh dear. What's up, being James? How are you doing? Well, that's the thing, is like, some people don't really think about like what fits into YouTube and stuff, and it's like, to a lot of Twitch streamers, you know, Twitch is the money maker, so they do whatever fits in Twitch, but for me, it's like, split more down the middle so it's like I have to do what makes sense more for both nice board clear and a lethal boom get zapped Mm -hmm. All good cards here. It might be hard to improve from this hand. Because we can get more elementals, but... I don't want to toss this. If I have all of this, it's like the merchant's probably going to be good too, right? So, I think I just keep this. One thing is, if I know for a fact he's a control death knight, I would probably want to look for more elementals, but we don't know for sure, right? And level 1 death knight is very likely to be control, but we'll see. The fact that he has this makes it more likely he's actually tempo. Ah, he just has 6 excavates, okay. can't even... If I play a Swarmer in Schooling, I still overdraw, right? Is this net plus one? Maybe I trade this then? Do you always face level one? Are you asking, like, do you face someone with the same record? Especially at high wins, you are probably pretty unlikely to face them with the exact same record. They could be 9-0, they could be 11-0, they could be 11-2, they could be 10-2. It's like something probably relatively close, but you're not facing someone at the same one loss necessarily. Yeah. Oh, I just trap died. Have to just kill that, I guess. God, that's insane. The citadel stands strong. Okay, he's having a slow turn though. It's a bit of a problem. So he's, I mean, it seems like he's, I mean, he probably isn't a control. We don't know yet, right? He might have just had a high roll opening off of his control deck. We just don't know yet. He might just have a completely broken deck that does everything better than us. We just don't know yet. I can't tell if this is a control deck that got lucky. Okay, it's looking more like a control deck that got lucky early game. That's difficult. That might make it very difficult.
to try to keep the elemental chain active, I guess. Maybe I'm not supposed to kill this. I'm probably not. Probably just not a lot of value in killing it. I don't know how valuable these zero ones are, but probably not very. Yeah, we're getting AoE'd anyway. Kind of what I figured. But he's going to trade himself. So we made the good choice there. Yo, Taze with the raid. What's up, Taze? How have you been doing lately? You doing a Hearthstone stream or more fishing streams? Oh my god, he's Monpa. Yo, no Taze? Definitely check him out for sure. Great streamer of IRL categories as well as Hearthstone lately. Alright, so we're gonna have to... I guess I play this, I play Heavy Fish. We're gonna lose our chain, which sucks. Is 5 1 actually going face? I have to kill this, right? So the 5 1's not going face, I'd probably trade it here. Oh my god. I did not account for that. Good lord. I did not realize this would cause that animation. Holy shit. How was I supposed to know that would cause that much animation delay? Because I timed it where I would have time. I just did not realize that would make that much an uninteractable animation delay. What the fuck? So this is actually the worst card ever made. What the hell? Appreciate the bit, Scuttlebug. Oh, we were probably dead anyway. We got like our... This is by far the worst draw of our entire run here, so... Nothing we could do here. He has infinite value. Should we, we should just move on, right? I mean, if I draw like... Forest this turn, maybe? I don't know. Was it Mal? Uh, today's runs we had a um, I mean we had a bad deck that still went like eight or something, and then we have this run. So a fine purchase. Oh, a 
gonna really suck when we find out that's an explosive trap, huh? Okay, I guess it's not an explosive trap. We have to hope that this uh this works. If we draw a scar like now. Maybe. Or living prairie. We just have to like straight up draw a chain. Elemental chain. Okay, that's not what we needed. It's gonna pop that thing. It would have taken so much less to beat us, but he has to also just do like the most absurdly specific combo that was RNG reliant. It's like you can't even reliably do that because he had to RNG into the right excavate. Alright, that's a card that, that was printed. Yeah, that's why he got to 11 in the first place. Class was the H win. Um, Death Knight. We got like a pretty bad Death Knight deck. The chain dies, I will leave the game, but if the chain never dies, I guess we stay forever. And this also summons those. There's nothing I can do because I'm actually just dead. If he can do anything, so. Death Growl is the new connectivity, pretty much, yeah. weird hand though because these are all cards I kind of want but they're not maybe I only keep storm maybe I keep these two I want to make sure I have the, the AoE for sure like I have to keep this it's the only AoE we have I probably just keep this guy One one? Yeah. Have to hope for the best here. The best, nice. Mess maker is kind of good. Yeah, I kind of was. I already wanted to just play this though. Opponent indeed lacking. Well, I mean, he. I mean, he's doing what he probably should do. Honestly, it's just yeah, he's <laughs> can't exactly play around everything that exists right now. Oh, another one. Um, maybe I'll try to get the buff on the life steal actually. Yeah, maybe not because of this. This must be really bad now. I just take damage, huh? Unreliable damage is the best kind of damage.
Because I'm losing the chain. Okay, at least that thing gives all three at once. Yeah, that's the worst totem. Our power level is actually pretty low right now. We're running out of bad draws at least. That's kind of ridiculous actually. Okay. It's pretty bad for me actually. I'm still just at 3-3. Three, three. I'll just do this. And this card is really bad. <laughs> Not even before you even consider like the animation problem. Even before that, it's bad. I no, didn't want to give us that thing. Uh, if I want to keep the chain active, I have to play an elemental here. But I would like to get something off of school teacher that would help. Maybe best to just give up the chain again. I mean, there'd be things that would be so good here. That's pretty good. Maybe it was better to get it on here. I got the animation again. Could I? I might have been able to get an extra one. I probably could have. I would have had to trade the 6 2 first. That was probably better. Just took like 11 damage. Casually. That was the brass Ellie Ray, right? okay. Anyway, we should just get there now, right? Not that it would save him, but Zul'jin's not even active yet. Zul'jin with collateral would be hilarious, actually. Hilarious in the way that, haha, we're dead. Haha. <laughs> kind of hilarious, but. Oh my god, he probably has Zul'jin, right? Call the Wild with Zul'jin. Call the Wild and Collateral and Zul'jin. Oh man, that's probably what his deck was. Because <laughs> we didn't see his legendary, right? In any case, we get there. The 12 win with Shaman. Class that is, um. It's still in the upper tier of classes, but. Um, not one of the best classes, but no, it's still, still up there though. Turns out when you get just a million elementals, it works really well. We, we were like super below average in actually drawing this card though, right? We only played it like four times, I think. We we're actually like super below average. We had to win basically without the scar, even though the scar was like the entire build around of the entire deck. We just still had to win without it. But yeah. And now people are going to think this card's good because now it's going to have a high win rate just because of me. This is what I'm doing, chat. For the people that are just blindly obeying chats, now they're going to get baited into picking this garbage. So this is what I'm doing for the good of the community, okay? No one can ever say I don't do anything for the community anymore. We did a little bit of the Macaw Scar combo, yeah. Although it, we didn't really, we just never had the Scar was the problem. We usually had to Scar, we usually had to Macaw other things. But anyway, if you watch us on YouTube, hit all the buttons, the like button, the subscribe button, the comment button. After typing random garbage into the comment button, because it all helps for the algorithm. Best thing, oh, we got a Wild Spirits. Nice. It's not a golden one, though. So it doesn't provide arena value. Disaster. Now I have to go play Wild Spirits. I have to play Wild Seeds in uh, Standard before it rotates out in two days. Or wild, but anyway, bye bye, YouTube.